Anima Grossman, I, I am so happy you are here. Thank you. Uh, you do phenomenal work, and I think a lot of people are surprised that you play uh, your, your character, the pinhead character, mm. and in person you are so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> and, and humble. Oh, <laughs> well, no, thank you. It's, no. it's very nice. But, it, but it's nice to see you, you able to pull up such a great character, and, and, and you also added such depth to that character when, when they like really let you flesh it out. Right. Yeah, no, um, I mean, I was never one of those actresses that was trying to be beautiful. I've, um, but it's kind of worked out for me, yeah. <laughs> you know, get all this attention for being beautiful when that was never my intention yeah. at all. Um, you know. yeah, that's probably the juxtaposition of that Of character. course, I mean, yeah. after Pepper. Yeah. Now, um, <laughs> did, you, did you get to, like, speak to any uh, old sideshow people about developing the character, or what kind of research did you do for her? Uh, I did a lot of research, although it really wasn't until Freak Show that I met the sideshow yeah. people. Um, Matt, of course, being one yeah. of them. Um, it's here this weekend. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, no, the preparation was really, um, you know, I didn't actually speak to anyone about, you know, Pepper until uh, I was on set, which was, yeah. of course, months and months after, you know, yeah. extensive makeup tests. So it was really, most of my information was from the makeup people. Right. Um, they actually showed me the photos that were taken in my callback, which was essentially just a meeting with makeup, yeah. in which they took a bunch of photos of me, which they later manipulated to see what I would look like with that makeup. Oh, so they said, you know, you're going to look a little something like this, so you're going to kind of want to act a little something like that, which of course I didn't know what that meant. So right. they, that's when they introduced me to Schlitzie. Right. Uh, of course, the muse for the yep. character. Uh, and I, you know... Checked out Freaks, and I don't. I don't think I ever returned it. <laughs> I yeah, think it's, it's I think I stripped that phenomenal DVD. Movie, yeah. Oh yeah, I watched it like on a loop all summer long. Um, in fact, I'd, I'd even be like, you know, on set about to go on, like, okay, wait, 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 I need to, like, let me watch that clip one more time, you know, yeah. to get her, kind of get her. And you know, she was a he, right? Oh yeah, yeah yes, yeah, of right, course. Yeah. <laughs> I I was like, you must know this. Yes, yes, yes. Schlitzie was it was um, Ward Hall. Are you familiar with with that gentleman? No. He he ran World of Wonders. He just passed away. Oh. He was like ninety something years old. Um, he was the last person to actually be Sh uh, Schlitzie's caretaker. Oh wow. Yeah. And uh, oh. yeah, so he's it was just he's a very strange. And then on the cover of the Rolling Stones, uh, Exile on Main Street, he's the guy with the Ventura Lewis dummy. So. Oh cool. Yeah, very eccentric fellow. There's a, a going to be a Schlitzy documentary actually yeah. that I'm I'll be in. Oh, that's um, I'm not sure when it'll come out. I don't know yeah. anything about it. Has I just know they interviewed films? me. They did they did my part anyway. So Excellent. now you you have like you you do a lot more than American Horror Story. Oh, sure. We were perusing your IMDb and, and I <laughs> I didn't even know. I was like I have to see all these films. Oh. <laughs> so uh, what what have you been doing lately? Well, I've done a lot of um, you know genre films yeah. thanks to American Horror Story. Um, Let's see, just last weekend, um, a film called Bite Me yeah. uh, opened at Cinequest, which is a film festival in uh, San Jose, California. Um, it's a vampire rom-com. I did another vampire movie called Painkillers, yeah. uh, produced by, by the same people that did Fear, Inc., which is another movie I did okay. um, two years ago. Gosh, it's it's been kind yeah. of nonstop lately. Yeah, you, you you work a lot. That's that's, that's the idea, right? Yeah. Now, wh where where can uh, the the fans see these films? Are, are they going to be uh, theatrical release, or are we doing the? Hard to say. Yeah. Um, you we can definitely count on video on demand yeah, yeah. across the board. Which which really is becoming the way people watch films anyway. So. I mean, look at Roma. I oh, mean, yeah. it was like Amazing. up for back picture, but let's face it, like how many people saw it in the f movie theater? Like, yeah. I think I was the only one. Yeah, people, people Not true, but only <laughs> want to see superhero movies these days. I know, Roma, right? So it's like it's that's so the only hard. reason to go. Sorry if you guys like superhero films. No, but, I mean, that's where the money is. Yeah, yeah. But, you know, that's... Somebody asked me a question, actually, last weekend. Um, you know, what's the difference between, you know, some of this, you know, big budget stuff like Horror Story yeah. and, and some of the, these little indie movies, like what I was doing last weekend. Yeah. And, you know, they kind of threw me under the bus. I'm up on a stage, like, with all the, you know, producers from this movie. And right. the last thing I want to do is say, like, well... <laughs> these guys are craft these services. Suck. Suck. <laughs> and these suck. No. Uh, but it's money. Yeah. At the end of the day. You know, yeah. let's face it. Horror Story looks the way it does because there's, um, you know, 
20 people descending upon my face during last looks yeah. to make sure every little seam is, you know, looks yeah. immaculate. Whereas, you know, I could have used a little some more <laughs> makeup yeah, no, that was... in the indie, but what's he going to do? Yeah, but I mean, you at least get to flex a little more muscle in the indie, you get a little more, you know, a little more... Yes, yeah. and in the indie, let's face it, I mean, let's just say they're not doing it for the movie, the money. They're not doing the indies for the money. Yeah, yeah. They're doing and that's, that's kind of like you, you do a couple that pay high and you do those mainstream and then you get sure. to do the indies. You get to pick them a little yes. bit. Yeah. yeah. Now, uh, I, I don't know if you remember, I met you during uh, a festival in New Orleans and I randomly met you because we were, I was hula hooping and you said, can I use your hula hoop? And oh. I was like, son of a bitch. Uh, I know who you are. You did? Yeah. Wow. And then, and then, uh, and then you were like, oh yeah. It's a secret that I'm here. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. apparently were being snuck in and out of set because your character was still a secret that you're having a reprisal role. Yeah. Well, okay. I remember that weekend. Yeah. Uh, the question is, was I wearing a wig? Um, uh, yeah, I think you were. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember ditching the wig early on. Yeah. I was like, it's July. It's the South. It, it's, yeah, it's no one, one knows me here. Or, you know, meaning I don't live yeah. there, so it's not like... You know. Yeah, I kept, I kept bumping into people, and I didn't realize they were, they were filming that there. Yeah. I, I was doing a show, and then Matt shows up to the show with, with his wife. And, yeah. And, uh, and then I see other other people who worked on the show just as kind of background, like sword swallowers and whatnot. Right. And I was like, why the hell is everybody in New Orleans right well, now? Well, when I would roll with the yeah. freaks, it was like, jig is up. Yeah. You know, Pepper's back, clear, yeah. clearly, why else? Um, but yes, I do remember having to tell, when they would, folks would ask for pictures, I would say, can you, you know, wait till like September yeah. to post that? Well, you, you are a fantastic hula hooper, by the way. I am! Yeah, you are excellent. <laughs> thank you. Uh, a lot of times we'll have them kicking around the, the convention, I'll find one, I'll bring you on. Oh, the, thank you. You can go to town if you want. Well, I'll tell you, for any um, aspiring actors, uh, that's my trick, actually. Yeah. Uh, when I memorize... I like to hula hoop. Oh, um, it's good for your waistline. Yeah. It's also kind of gets you out of your head. Yeah. So, because you know, like you don't want to memorize like the lines this way. Like I say it. Like you want to be open and receptive yeah. to whatever's going on in the moment. You know, your your other actor is technically giving you how to, yeah. you know, respond honestly in the moment. So I find when I am memorizing dialogue, if I can do something physical, it kind of gets me out of my head. That's amazing. And so, you know, I'll be doing laps, like saying my lines, or hula hooping, doing, saying my lines, sit-ups, push-ups, you name yeah. it. Yeah, repetition. Like whenever, whenever yeah. I, like I've been writing some projects and, and uh, I find just doing like a, a work in a bar for a day job and so I'm cleaning glasses and doing that. And while I'm doing that, I'm writing I'm like, there oh you yeah, go. that's where I get my best thing, just sure. doing that repetitive flow kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. It's true. Well, yeah. yeah, there's something about just sort of, you know, you're thinking about how much your abs burn and not yeah. what's that next word. Yeah. <laughs> yeah like, how long do I have to do this to get rid of that beer? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, Naomi... Well, and then you get to drink that beer. Yeah, absolutely. So or do it while you're hula hooping, because oh, why not? Mm. <laughs> it's just constant. It's, I'm, I'm fat, I'm skinny, I'm fat, I'm skinny, mm. I'm fat, I'm skinny. Yeah, it sounds like well, eating on the toilet. I don't know, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> just saying. Uh, pool hooping on the toilet is more my thing, really. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, wow. Sit there and you got you got to get a special tank. It's but it, it'll work. You can do a thing. Oh, okay. No, Naomi, um, we're gonna have to wrap this up. Yeah. Because I know it's the end of the day. Because we now all... we're talking about hula hooping on the toilet. Like, oh no, where we should do you go we should here? we should open with that because it's yeah. Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I, I know if we continue, it's just gonna get better and better. Oh God, where do you go? <laughs> exactly. But um, I, I wanted to ask you where people can find you and follow you and keep track of you. Not hula hooping on the toilet, not hooping certainly. Toilet and, no, and, no. Not, and not in real life, I mean like on, on the interweb. On the interwebs. On the interwebs, yes. Uh, I am at Naomi W. Grossman is my handle yeah. on all social media platforms. I can verify. Uh, and then on um, on my website is NaomiGrossman.net. Excellent. And I'm excited to see you in more stuff. And yeah. And I have a feeling you're probably going to be recurring in American Horror Story for as long as it runs. It, hey, you, you, this you'll, is... You'll do it. Trust me. I, I, <laughs> I'll make it happen. <laughs> no, you, you I, I can, can, actually. Oh, yeah. No, truly. I don't know if you knew, but you have a lot more power than you know. So, so uh, everyone out there, if you, if you just keep saying, hashtag Naomi Grossman should come back, she'll come back. Yeah, I mean, there is somebody 
like employed at every studio to kind of to read the yeah. social media and see what's trending, what's hot, what what do people want, what do people not want. Yeah. And so if you don't want me, step away from the computer, maybe yeah, go take, take a hula hoop on the toilet. Home, yeah, go, do some hula pooping. Recommend it. And but yeah. But if you do want me, then yeah. let them know. Well Naomi, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs>